So to make a calibrated skulk sensor, we'll show you how this works. So this is what one looks like when it's completed. And then in a way, this is what they look like before you've calibrated them. All right, so how to make it? It's really quite simple. You have to harvest one of these and we're gonna also need a crafting table. But over there, for the moment, I've got an anvil. Not necessarily required. <clears throat> it's all about what you do to a pickaxe, okay? Because if you go up to one of these with just a regular pickaxe, it's just going to give you experience. And you don't want that. So what we want to do is get silk touch. How you get that, that's up to you. But make sure you have a pickaxe with silk touch, all right? And you're going to take that pickaxe, and then you can harvest one. But I'm uncreative. Ha, 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 ha. Uh, harvest one. And then you got one. Then you can come over to the crafting table. I'm going to go into creative because there's something I don't have yet. Amethyst shards, and you need three. Put this in the middle and put it on the two sides and on the top. And then, boom, you've got a calibrated skulk sensor. Pretty cool, huh? Hey, they even look good for decorations. So, well, you know, it's just one thing you can do with them. But that is how you make the calibrated skulk sensor.